because we didn't make the life of uh, Tunisian better, honestly. Um, yes, they have a total free to talk, to express their view, to criticize the government, to, uh, to meet their um, responsible MPs, and sometimes ministers, even the president of the government, and so on. So we're not in a dictatorship anymore, but at the same time, we didn't prove to them that we're able in a democratic country to uh, change things and to do reforms and uh, to make their life better. And also because it needs time and people, they have this high social expectation. They made the revolution and they think, now my life is going to change. Of course, it needs time. It is also uh, a problem of the uh, political elite that didn't succeed on uh, doing things uh, uh, faster. Uh, we thought that the constitutional process is going to be in one year. We took three years. Of course, we did a better work compared with some other countries, uh, but we took three years, uh, not only one year. So it is how we convince people that, yes, democracy is not an easy thing. Democracy is not an easy thing, and it's hard to make decisions with democracy, but it's the way to have everyone involved. We may took more time, but we're going to go in the right direction. The revolution in Tunisia happened because of the marginalization of uh, very poor areas in the internal uh, part of the country, but also in the coast areas. So it is somehow the exclusion of people from taking decision for the benefit of the uh, Tunisians. So the decentralization for us as another party, it is strategic to uh, guarantee the democratic process. In our view, uh, we had to uh, uh, change the position of power from one hand in the hand of the who is in the palace of Carthage, the president of the republic, and to have this power distributed between Carthage, Kasbah, where we have the government, and uh, Badu, where we have the parliament. But this is only the first step. The real step that is going to guarantee the democracy in Tunisia. Uh, is the real step that is going to guarantee democracy in Tunisia. It is when we're going to distribute the power from the central state, the French type of uh, making decision, to decentralize to the people uh, and to uh, give them their prerogative to make decision for uh, what they think is right and 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 to to participate on 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 the decision maker for what it concerns their life, at least at the local level. And this is going to take time. We're going to start this. It is an implementation of our constitution, the democratic constitution, and it's going to be uh, a hard process, but uh, we're going for it. And it's going to be one of the success of uh, 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 an Arab country making decentralization in a democratic country. When we talk about the Tunisian revolution in many uh, Western media, they talk about uh, the revolution of Jalsamin, which is a beautiful flower that we have in Tunisia. But the real name of the revolution in Tunisia is the Thawrat al Hurriya wal Karama, the revolution of freedom and dignity. And in those two words, we represent what happened with Muhammad Bazizi. With the word freedom, we mean the whole democratic system the freedom of speech, religion, conscience, all the democratic system and principles of a democratic system, uh, the free uh, and fair election and so on. And we did this part. We made a great an agreement and we won a, a Nobel Peace Prize. The other challenge is the one that we didn't succeed yet, but I think I think numbers are going in the right direction uh, of our economy, but the high social expectation the crisis of the private sector that we have Tunis in Tunisia, the state model of a state that provides everything for, his, for the citizens that we uh, inherited from the uh, independence, uh, since the independence, it is really problematic.
Now in Tunisia, the real challenge is to make an agreement on how to change the country and to have a new economic model and to face the, so, uh, the, the high social expectation. And I believe from here to 2020, uh, I'm, I mean th 2020, right after the presidential and parliamentary election, uh, things are going to be much better, even if in the next years we're going to face real difficulties. Mm -hmm.